So the Vimero 14 has huge changes from the previous models and it actually reminded me a lot of the Pegasus Turbo. So I thought I'd do a quick little video giving my first impressions of the Vimero 14 as well as doing a quick little comparison to the Pegasus Turbo. The upper material on the Vimero 14 is a similar mesh to that on the PEG Turbo and includes flywire as well. A noticeable difference between the two is the volume of the tow box. The Vimero 14 felt great while the PEG Turbo was a bit shallow. The tongue is very thin compared to the PEG Turbo and previous Vimeros, which I don't mind. What I did notice though was that it was pretty short. When I laced up the extra eyelets, there was barely enough tongue to protect me from the laces. Both shoes have a mix of React and something else. The Vomero is React with a full length zoom air unit, and the Peg Turbo has maybe 30% React and 70% Zoom X, something along those lines. Because of this, I found the Vomero to be a bit firmer. I think it's mainly due to that zoom unit. The Vomero 14 reminded me of the Peg Turbo's fatter, more stable brother, especially in the midfoot. I'd say the main difference is that the Vomero 14 is a great everyday trainer, but not great for speed, while the Pegasus Turbo can handle both. The outsoles are extremely different considering there is a giant cutout running down the middle of the Vomero 14. This weird guidance line cuts in so deep that it's noticeable while standing. Luckily that feeling goes away while running and helps provide a smooth heel to toe transition. So the Vomero 14 is $140, that puts it at $40 less than the Pegasus Turbo. And honestly I found the two to be very similar. If you're looking for a more stable everyday trainer and don't mind a bit of weight, Definitely save yourself $40 and go for the Vomero 14. But if you're looking for something that's light enough for race day but cushioned enough for every day, then the PEG Turbo might be a better option. Either way, the Vomero 14 really surprised me and I feel like it's a pretty good value considering it's under $150. Well, that was just my quick first impressions and comparison video. And I really just wanted to let you guys know what I thought. If you are looking for a full review, I definitely recommend checking out Jamie's video. But I also have a ton of other shoes that I will be reviewing, so subscribe so you don't miss those. And as always, keep on running.